Welcome internet to another video on the EJ Black YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking through the music board of 4chan again. Why do Zoomers refuse to revive rock music to its former glory? Why is there no actual interesting rock from Zoom Zooms? False opinion alert. False opinion alert. There's some amazing rock and metal of our generation. You just don't know how to find it, in my humble opinion. Rock guitar driven music is like Africa. Everyone was initially all stoked to spend all day colonizing and taking over Africa, but eventually got thoroughly explored and now nobody gives a shit because once something is fully explored and discovered, you realize that it's not that interesting. I also disagree with that one. Africa's fine, for one, why you gotta bring Africa under the bus, and two, Rock music is interesting just because you might not enjoy it or you don't listen to it or you don't know what to look for doesn't necessarily mean that it's not an interesting genre. Cute core. Cute music for cute people. Seems we have found my calling. This is easily the most overrated album of all time. Boring shit. I disagree. While I personally am not a fan of My Bloody Valentine and I don't listen to them a whole lot, I'm a massive fan of Shoegaze. And even though it might be really repetitive and dreamlike, I really enjoy that feel. So while you say this album is boring shit, I can see why someone else would say that. But in my opinion, I think that repetitive nature really just makes it an, an enjoyable listen. Maybe you're just a zoomer and have a short attention span. Metal died after this album came out. Metallica Ride the Lightning. That is honestly one of the worst opinions I have ever heard. That's right, every metal album after 1984 is a bad album. I'm sorry, have you ever heard of Megadeth Rust in Peace? Or any Exodus album? Or really any metal album that came out after that for that matter? We've got here Block Party Silent Alarm. This album is low key a 10. While I wouldn't give it a, a 10 out of 10, it is a very solid album. That face when I'm in the process of saving rock music. Thank you very much, Pepe. Here we got a recommendation post, and the thing that caught my eye was the two Frank Zappa albums, my two favorite ones personally. We've also got some Warbringer here, which I really enjoy. Vector is really nice. Opeth. Death, Individual Thought Patterns, that's a really good album. Um, Led Zeppelin, self-titled. Morbid Saint. Some more Warbringer, King Lizard and the Wizard Gizzards. This is not a bad list at all. I haven't heard all the albums on here, but the ones I have, I really enjoy. So, good good job on your on your on your album cover pictures. Good, proud of you. WTF is wrong with everybody doing this music. The sad boy era is stupid. Imagine making opinionated posts on 4chan and calling other people stupid. We've got another share music thread, and as we saw last time, I really enjoy these. So let's give this a look. First, we got some electropunk. So let's see how this sounds. That was a pretty enjoyable track. I can see the electro-punk feeling. It feels like if punk rock was made by electronic music makers. It was a little bit repetitive, but I didn't mind that. And I really liked the vocal style used and the vocal effects used. The only thing I didn't like was that ending was very abrupt. But other than that, I thought it was a really enjoyable track. Let's give this grindcore noisecore a listen. I am a massive fan of grindcore, as you can probably tell by my napalm death shirt in my logo. So let's give this a listen and see how it goes. I was expecting it to be just kind of like a noise thing since it said noisecore. I was expecting it really just to be like a repetitive noise song. But it wasn't really that, it was like a proper grindcore song. If anything, it's just extremely heavier and extremely noisier, as you can probably tell by the noisecore title. But I really liked it, and it still had the things that it needs, like it still got melody, and a discernible melody at that, and it still got vocals, so I thought this was quite enjoyable. Good track, good track. We found St. Paddy's Day Massacre, my favourite one off the last review. Alright, let's give Drowning Stars a listen. <laughs> 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 this 
This track was a really good soundscape. I felt like a 40s kind of feeling to it with the little jazz. It felt a little bit vaporwavy, but not like the modern vaporwave where you remix pop, more like the jazzy kind of vaporwave. I can see why it's got sound collage in the tags because it really felt like it was just putting together sounds to make a in very interesting soundscape in my opinion. So yeah, I thought that was a very good track. This track wasn't my favourite, it's not so much my thing but I can see why people would like it. It's got that very emotional feel to it, especially with the grainy photo, the guitar solos and the emotional vocals. I didn't really enjoy the vocals in my opinion, I don't like the repeating lyric line and I didn't like the melody of it. I quite enjoyed the guitar but other than that I didn't really enjoy this song a massive amount but I can see why people would like it, it's not my thing really. The instrumentals were interesting and for a pop song I did like this track but I didn't like the vocals very much. I think the pop vocals they really draw me out of the song so I didn't like the vocals for this song but I really like the instrumental and I feel like this could be turned into a track that would while still being poppy be at least in my opinion more appealing. I don't think I need to listen to too much more of this track to get the main idea. What I'm getting is it's a basic ambient track but with a droning melody over it, a very light droning melody. It's got a very airy feel to it. I really like this track in terms of the almost background feel to it with its almost pseudo nostalgia touch that it has to it. I really enjoyed this track. This track sounds very interesting, I don't know if it's the best I've ever heard, but it's definitely different to most other ambient tracks I've heard. This one feels a lot more like an electronic, it had repeating percussion and melody lines in there. I thought it was very interesting, and while it's not something that I would listen to on a regular basis, I would come back to this now and again, I think this was a fairly decent track. Alright, here we got some dungeon synth, and I'm a massive fan of dungeon synth, that's my top genre. So, let's hope that this is a good one. First thing I noticed is that this is already in my wish list, meaning I've most likely listened to this before and I think I will most likely already like it. So let's give it a listen and see if I do enjoy it. I praise my past self for putting this in my wish list. I probably should have bought it because I really enjoyed that. That was an amazing dungeon synth song, at least in my opinion. It embodies the main portions of dungeon synth that I really like. So, good job. Good track. Witch House is already a pretty out there genre, it doesn't stick to many of the main conventions that you'll notice in other genres, but this one is way out there even compared to what you would normally hear in Witch House. It's pretty experimental, I still really liked it in its experimentation though, so it's not like it's a track where the experimentation leads to it sounding a little bit poorer than what you hear in the normal genre. This experimentation led to a track that, in my opinion, was maybe even better than what you'd hear in the normal genre. 
It was very odd, but very enjoyable. I really like this track. All right, so here we've got something that I've got no idea what it's going to sound like because we've got here folk, improvised, noisy, vomit, and violence. So I'm thinking it's going to be kind of like a noise core kind of thing, but with folk guitars and a ton of distortion and bass layered on it. But let's give it a listen and see what it is. Whatever I expected, it certainly was not that. This is really weird, it's very experimental. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but I can see how it would come from Hell, Michigan, to be honest. Not something I choose to listen to, but I mean, it was fine. And if you're a fan of experimental and folk, this would probably be something that you'd really enjoy. Here we got some maybe shoegaze. So that first section of the song was so good. It was, I didn't even know if it was shoegaze, it was maybe shoegaze, I guess, but it had a really fuzzy, punky feel to it. I really enjoyed that first part. The end part was bells with increasing volume and increasing distortion. I wasn't a massive fan of that part, but I think that was just there as an outro and you're not supposed to be a fan of that part. The first part I really enjoyed and I would listen to more stuff like that. Right, I think that's enough of looking through people's projects. We'll just take a look at a few more things around the board as we did last time and then we'll end it after that. Wow, we find good meme. That face when no GF. A documentary by Alex Lee Moyer. To be honest, I don't know what else I expected, but I haven't found it. So we might just leave the video here. Goodbye, internet. I'll flip the switch back on tomorrow.